The Tortoise and the Hare. Tomorrow will be the first day of school for the forest animals. Henry Hare was eager to start. He told his friend Tommy Tortoise that he would be the fastest one at school. Look at me go, he bragged, doing high hops from tree to tree. No one can catch me. I'll be the first one at school. Tommy Tortoise sighed. It was true. Henry's movement was fast, while Tommy crawled very, very slowly. Tommy inched toward the tree, while Henry hopped around in circles around him. I know, said Tommy. Let's have a race to see who gets to school first. Then we will know who is the faster animal. Henry laughed. <laughs> okay, Tommy, I will race you. It will be easy to win because I hop quickly and you crawl slowly. The next morning, Tommy and Henry met at the starting line for the race. Henry could not wait to begin. He hopped quickly from one side of the road to the other, while Tommy crawled very slowly to the starting line. Henry laughed. <laughs> Are you sure you want to race, Tommy? You know, I'll win. You crawl so slowly and it's a long way to school. You'll be exhausted after just a few minutes. I don't know about that, said Tommy. I may surprise you. Everyone came to watch the race and cheer for Henry and Tommy. Their parents stood by the starting line and helped them get ready. Freddy Fox agreed to start the race. He looked down at his watch and then shouted, Ready, set, go! Henry quickly hopped across the starting line, racing past his friend. Soon, Henry was far ahead of Tommy. He hopped faster and faster until he reached the halfway mark and became too tired to go on. He looked around and noticed his favorite flowers growing near the side of the road. Then he saw his friend Sam standing nearby watching the race. Henry looked behind him, but he couldn't see Tommy. Tommy is so slow, he'll never catch up to me, he thought. I can rest here for a while and I'll still win. So Henry decided to rest his legs and talk to Sam before finishing the race. Meanwhile, Tommy crawled at his slow but steady pace. The race was so exciting that he didn't even feel exhausted. When he arrived at the halfway mark, he didn't notice Henry talking to Sam on the side of the road. Henry didn't notice Tommy either. Tommy kept crawling toward the finish line while Henry talked and talked. Suddenly, Henry remembered the race. He looked around, but he didn't see Tommy anywhere. He must still be far behind, Henry thought. I'm going to hop to school and win. He said goodbye to Sam and zoomed off down the road. As Henry hopped ahead, he saw his parents and friends standing and cheering in front of the school. But they weren't cheering for him. They were cheering for Tommy. He was already across the finish line. Tommy waited for Henry to finish the race. Then Henry sadly hopped over to his friend. You were right, Tommy, he said. I moved faster, but you still won. You kept going while I stopped to look back at the flowers and talk to Sam. Tommy smiled at his friend, and they walked into school together. What a fun adventure, said Tommy. It's good to be fast, but sometimes slow and steady wins the race. <laughs>